To international weather news now, and Storm Alberto has wreaked havoc across the United States. Here are the latest details. The southeast bracing for potentially life-threatening flash flooding. Alberto walloping the Gulf Coast on Monday, bringing heavy rain and strong winds. The storm's fury captured on video as this bridge in Cuba was destroyed by a rising river. Alberto claiming the lives of two journalists covering the storm in North Carolina. News anchor Mike McCormick for CNN affiliate WYFF and photojournalist Aaron Smeltzer were killed Monday when a tree fell on their SUV. It is a freak of nature. Uh, it's one of those things that um, you, you know it's going to happen or you can predict that it may happen. You don't know when. Governor Roy Cooper warning that North Carolina residents need to take the storm seriously as the governors of Florida, Alabama, and Mississippi issue states of emergency. It's the first uh, severe storm of the season here. Yeah, it's kind of early. Uh, it early. Makes, makes me uh, leery of what's ahead. This as residents of Ellicott City, Maryland, begin another daunting cleanup effort after a different storm system caused historic flash flooding for the second time in two years. Police releasing this new drone video showing the level of destruction across the city. Roads washed out, cars scattered among mud and debris. They're devastated, as you can expect. Uh, they have gone through hell to get where they are today before this flood, and now they're facing it all again. Emergency responders continue to search for Edison Herman, a Maryland National Guardsman who was helping a woman rescue a cat when he was pulled underneath the raging floodwaters and never surfaced. We're all still keeping up hope. I mean, a lot of we've got a ton of friends. Uh, this amazing guy. It is tough to just sit here and wait, knowing we can't do anything about it.